Well, good morning. We're in our art gallery this morning here at the library, and we're always working to make the public aware of it. We're so fortunate to have this beautiful community gallery, and everybody in the community, uh, people who paint professionally, people who just decided they would paint because they didn't have any films and two or wanted a new hobby or something. And so we, we you just call and, and talk with us and get your name on the list and we're always glad for you to, to have a show here in the library. This gallery here was, was dedicated to uh, our former director, Tony James, and uh, she, she uh, is just we think that she just planned and did so many wonderful things when the library was built under her uh, leadership. And we just are pleased to know that this has been dedicated to her because it's her right and so she needed it to be recognized. So we're going to go around the wall. I could tell you a little bit about our paintings this today. We, the paintings, the show that we got this month, we weren't run our show for two months at a time. And uh, the paintings for this two months is. Uh, we just put a bunch of them together and used paintings. Uh, each artist provided one painting, and there are artists who have shown for us before or were somewhere other connected to the library. Now, some of them are deceased, and one of them is met and moved, but most of them are right around here. This lovely abstract is by a very, we thought, a very well known artist here in the poem, who is now deceased, Laura Cat Mitchell. And Laura just she was a, an award-winning painter, and she lived to be past 100 years old. And uh, this is one of her abstracts that uh, she gave to the library, and we borrowed it off the wall in the hall to put in our show. I think it's very bright. It just reminds me of her every time I see it. She was, was really what I call a zinger, and that's what you call a zinger. <laughs> and then this is our, uh, uh, our uh, friend of ours, Sherry Wall. Miss Sherry is very active with our uh, Wednesday Friends group. And uh, this is her darling little niece. And I love, love that picture of the children that the uh, Wednesday Friends came in to look over the gallery. I always encourage them to. And they right away knew, a lot of them knew that that was Miss Sherry's niece. Sitting there thinking, I think she's married, getting married. Pretty soon she probably think about being married. I think so. And this is a, oh, this is a great artist. This is Pat Lee. And I, I just love her work. Over the years, I've gotten Pat, I've gotten Pat to uh, paint my, my mother's old home, and then I got her to paint my dear little house out on 6th Street. And uh, she just does all sorts of work. And I love this one. This is the circus, Barnum and Bailey. And I thought it was very colorful and pretty. And right next to him is this one. Now, this is a real colorful one. And this is a surprise. This is done by the children's dentist, Miss Laura, Dr. Laura uh, uh, Jones, at uh, Laurie Jones. And uh, I, I said, Goodness, I didn't know Laurie painted. And uh, somebody said, Oh, yeah, if uh, you uh, ever go in her um, office down there, she's got beautiful paintings all over the wall. And uh, I said, Well, I didn't know that. I guess probably because. I don't have any teeth, how about that? <laughs> don't tell anybody that, okay? Now, this, this is what we call, this is this is done by Mr. Mr. Art of Pike County, Mr. Malcolm Allen. Uh, and uh, I, I think he probably was, did that down in New Orleans, but I thought that was just a real witty, real cute picture that he did. And he hung the paintings for us, and whenever we need any advice or we need some help in hanging them, which is often now, we always call Malcolm, and Malcolm is so good. He's such, been such a friend of the library. He just gets out and works in our yard and, and tri trims the hedges and just does a jillion things here as far as here at the library. Now, this is a beautiful picture. This lady teaches at the Southwest. This is Prudence McGee, and I just love that picture. I wrote her a little note this morning. I had heard so many nice things about her, and I finally met her in a little uh, reception that we had last week called the Sip and Sip for all of our artists, and uh, lots of folks came in to see their work, and I got to meet her. And I told her, I said, there were so many nice things about you. I'm glad to get to meet you, and you are nice. She's just a cute girl and an excellent artist. I love that. Now, this is an artist that has moved away. This is Greg Harvison, and I want to cry every time I say he's moved away. But they moved over to Cummings, Georgia. I wrote a little note this morning, and I told him, I said, well, you might have gone away, but we still got your work in our gallery. He was an excellent artist. And now, this is a, this, this artist, I'm telling you, you're too pretty to be an artist. This is Ava Madison's work. Isn't that pretty, Carol Lillies? She is an excellent artist from here. And, uh, 
This calla lily is a real classy flower. I think that's just really beautiful. She used such lovely vibrant colors. And uh, she's one of our good artists. Now then, this is Darnie Beverly Dick. Beverly lives out from Magnolia. And um, you may remember her husband would for day and made many trips to Africa. And he uh, had a lot of all sorts of uh, mounted animal heads and things. And uh, they just had lots of great things that they brought back from Africa. Very interesting. Mr. Williford passed away not long ago, but his wife, uh, but, um, uh, Beverly, teaches art. She has a, an art uh, school at her home, and uh, she's very, very talented. So she did this one. And then, of course, everybody knows Susie. Look at that. They say, that's Susie Sanders. Darling Susie. That looks just like a beautiful, warm, friendly, lovely color. She's done just an absolute master at painting flowers and uh, she's painted so many beautiful pictures and has been so good gracious to share them with us over the years we appreciate that one. and then now here is another one that really i love this lady lived in england for a long time and then she married an englishman and then moved back to the united states and her name was helen o'keefe helen passed away several months ago and she lived out at home so had connections with people out there but it's Jesus with the children, and it's just an unusual picture. And I, I was so pleased to, to have it in the show. We borrowed it from some of the family members. Now, this is a beautiful, beautiful picture. This one about one of my favorite artists, Saul Mauer. I think Saul is just an absolutely marvelous artist. And very often, if I need something about a question I have about art or something, I'll ask. I'll ask if I can't get a hold of Malcolm, then I'll ask Saul. If I can't get a hold of Saul, then I'll ask Malcolm. It's a new tale that I worry about from the curtain on my head. Isn't that beautiful, Saul? Can, and Saul does the most beautiful calligraphy. And every once in a while I have occasion to get a little note from him. And the note is so pretty and the calligraphy is so pretty that I hang it on my keeper's clothesline in my kitchen. I have a little clothesline in my kitchen. I keep all my pretty notes on and I always put it there because it looks so fine. Now listen, you know, I told you about Laura, Cat Mitchell. We looked at that. Uh, abstract painting over there that I said was a zinc. This is another one of Laura's pictures. Remember, I told you she passed away. I think she was maybe 102 when she died. But you know, she paid, made that picture, paid that picture for me when she was 100 years old. Isn't that wonderful? I'm telling you, I had taken her, I'd gone to see her. She lived over to me. I had gone to see her and uh, she had a, uh, I had taken a convenience, it was in the spring, and I said, Lord, look at this pretty convenience I brought you. I wish you would, you had painted this, and when, lo and behold, when I got to see her, and she had painted that picture for me. So that's a real treasure, and I lent that to you, okay, off my wall. <laughs> and then this is another, uh, this is a beautiful picture. This is done by uh, Bonnie Wimberly, and Bonnie is another one of our wonderful artists. She lives in Summit, and uh, she's retired from teaching, and uh, she just, she can do almost everything. And uh, she was showing me during the, uh, our Sip and See gathering to honor the, the uh, <coughs> artist this month. She was showing me some absolutely beautiful embroidery work that she had done. And she didn't know it, but I put her on my list to show that sometime too. <laughs> and this is one of my favorites now. This is by a deceased artist who was just one of Macomb's most marvelous teachers and art. This was by Roger Lawrence. And I always wish that I could have gotten a painting of Rogers, but this just hangs in the library, and my boss let us move it from where it was hanging and bring it in here. But oh, he was a wonderful artist. He's passed away, but he was a wonderful artist. And those who took I mean, took lessons from him said he was a wonderful uh, art teacher too. But that's our little show, and I just want y'all to see it. And thank you for taking the time to listen to this. And come in. We run these shows every two months. And I always try to put it in the paper and advertise it on Facebook. And we've started something called Sip and See. And we hope that this is going to do real good for everybody. We uh, kind of have it right in the middle of that two-month art show period. And uh, you can come in and get something to sip in our darling little Friends of the Library Cafe that the Friends of the Library made for us free coffee, you can have a cup of coffee, or you can have water, or Coke, or Sprite, and when the weather gets cold, we may even cook up some apple cider, too, but you come in and sip something, and then come down and see what the gallery's got, so you'll be watching, and we'll be hoping to have that again soon. 
And I think that's just about all. And I think Mr. Scott's just about wore out holding that camera up. <laughs> Mr. Scott, thank you so much for the nice things you've done and the nice, uh, you know, things that you've done to make people aware of what the programs here at the library. Y'all, we have a wonderful library. It's an absolute treasure in our community. It's for all of us, rich and poor and black and white and young and old. And we hope you'll come. And if you're not a big reader, just come down to the Friends of the Library Cafe and get a free cup of coffee and sit down and look at the people. And we'll see you again soon. Thank you so much. And thank you, Mr. Scott.